concept design for the Adelaide City Skate Park. Community consultation events, which took place at the end of last year, have directly informed the design. All the feedback and information collected through the design workshops and online questionnaires have shaped the skate park. Located in Gladys Elphick Park and bordered by West Terrace and Glover Avenue, various complex site features have set parameters and created opportunities for the layout of the design. A three-stair level change forms an intermediate street section and consists of various low impact elements. This wide strip offers run-up for both stances and flows into the plaza through a large bank connection. An advanced stair set connects the plaza to Upper Bowl platform. Paying homage to the iconic stair sets of the former city park, it will act as a key spectator attraction. A large competition bowl forms the northern edge of the park. The layout consists of a six foot shallow an 11 foot advanced deep end. Linking the two ends is an 8 foot taco and a central cradle which will form a centrepiece within the skate park and be the first of its kind in South Australia. Nestled under existing trees, it will be shaded for both riders and spectators and be a destination bowl around Australia. An open plaza forms the centrepiece of the design for both spectators and skate flow. All runs lead to this area with generous spacing of free flowing obstacles that allow multiple users to run through the space at once. This central plaza takes on a street feeling with rural plaza paving, combining the different textures and architectural styles of West Adelaide in the historic Festival Plaza. A beginner section consists of low height ramps and street features. Functioning as an isolated pocket for learning, this area can also be linked to the central plaza through a unique long down rail, ledge and flat bank. Spectator stations are situated at key locations throughout the facility. These passive spaces are connected with zigzagging pathways, bringing people into the space by celebrating its parkland setting. Scattered throughout the site are many large native trees of significance that must be retained. This provides a shady open green setting for viewing the park, picnics and passive recreation. Framing these large native trees creates a feeling of skate in a parkland setting.